Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are back playing Frisky Business. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Frisky Business. I am joyful. I am excited. I was delighted by the experience of playing through the first two chapters of this game. And I hope you've got a giggle out of it yourselves because, oh, everything from art direction to typography to audio cues, the character designs, the misspellings, this is this is beautiful. I'm and I I, I don't mean I don't mean that in any disrespect to Digirati Distribution and the developer behind this game, the Capers. But wow, this feels like it's intentional. It feels like you guys really get to the idea of like making the room as a visual novel. And oh, oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving this so much. So we're going to jump back in. We're going to go straight into chapter three of Frisky Business and see what uh, what we got next. I'm. I'm <laughs> Obviously, we left off at the end of the last mission, or end of the last chapter, where uh, three girls living together, they are being stalked by a clown, and we're now going to the police station to find and discover and discuss clues that we found along the way. Probably a fingerprint, we're going to run through a database. So, <clears throat> oh, before, before I start, I need to take a sip. Mm. God, I wish this was whiskey. <laughs> Alright, frisky business, let's continue. After discovering your first clue, you head to see your police contact, Officer Samantha Robbins. Let's rock and roll, we're right to the police department HQ. Oh man. I'm waiting to see what's next. Oh yes! Yes! Oh so good! I'm oh oh look at that background guys, come on! That computer isn't even fucking flat! I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Game of the year. Game of the year. Exactly what it needs to be. Right. <clears throat> knock knock. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Nice to see you too, friend. It's just funny to see your face around here. I mean, after what happened. I don't want to talk about that. And you know it. I'm sorry I got my wiener stuck in the coffee maker. Touchy, are we? No, I don't touch that anymore. How's Mackie doing? Still patrol? No, he's detective now. Good for him. Yes, and we are overloaded with cases right now. What do you want anyway? Well, I've got my first major case as a private detective myself. Oh, really? You need some help in your new operation? I'm kind of sick of this place. No, I don't want your smart ass. I wish I could, but money is tight right now. Let me think about it. I wish I could. You know what? Honestly, you're a good cop, and I want you on my team. But, just can't afford it. Just can't afford the lawsuits that might happen. I wish I could, but money is tight right now. I will work for free occasionally during my off hours. If you need me, I owe you after all. All right, wait, that was a bad read. I'll work for free occasionally, during my off hours, if you need me. I owe you, after all. I appreciate that, Sam. I'll let you know. So what's, this, what's the situation? So there's a group of girls being stalked at their home. We went there and found some fingerprints. Oh, okay, hold it. Who are these girls, and who is we? College girls, and I have a colleague, Charlie Park. College girls, and I have a colleague, Charlie Park. And what does he do? All the nerdy stuff like computers and CSI junk, he's such a lame ass geek, he's perfect for the job. Jesus Christ, guy! I am go Charlie deserves more fucking respect, man! He handles the technical and forensic aspects of her kisses. He's super smart. That's great to hear. Now I think you're just missing some muscle. Hmm? Are you trying to hint at something? It's not working. I'm kinda blind! What, you don't think I can handle myself? Maybe. I'll have to think about it. What? You don't think I can handle myself? No, I don't. Huh. 
I'm kidding, but you can always use backup. Doesn't sound like you'd want Charlie covering your, uh, covering your six when things go down. True. Now, as I was saying, these girls are being stopped by a clown. Not this again. What do you mean? What have you heard? Have you not paid attention to the news? There are creepy clowns popping up all over the country. It's all a joke. You're probably right, but... It's probably just a bored teenager who doesn't have anything better to do. Why am I even explaining this to you? I'm sorry, but we're really swamped with existing work. We're understaffed and underfunded. It's actually good that you're talking, taking this on. Okay, shut up now. Can you run these fingerprints for me? Well, I'm glad I can help you out. Now, can you run these fingerprints for me? Sorry to hear that. Say, can you run these fingerprints for me? Well, I'm glad I can help you out. This is the best I can do. Well, I'm glad. I'm, well, I'm glad I can help you out. Now, can you run these fingerprints for me? You got it. You got it. You got Mickey and Mackie to run after. I don't know. You got it. I'll get Mackie to run it after my shift. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. You, Mackie, and I need to go out for some drinks sometime. Remini reminisce about the good old times, right? Exactly. Someday. Oh, da, 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 da. Back to Frisk HQ. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. Anything happened while I was gone? Yes, actually. Tiffany, that cat lady, stopped by to give you something. Oh, what is it? Some cat ears. With love. You know, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't want to know. Anything else? Anything else happen? No customers, if that's what you mean. But I was reviewing the girls' accounts of what has been happening. And? Not much to go on for now, but since we're waiting on your officer friend, I was thinking. Track down our most obvious lead? Claire's Costume Shop. Dude, it's been a long day. Can you just spit it out? Simply stare at him and let him finish. Be respectful! Let him finish! WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENED TO HIS EYES?! Frisk! Are you having a stroke, man? Can you hear me? Say something! Lift your left hand! Fuck me! I'm turning into Jack. What's happened to his eyes?! Sorry, I was thinking that we could track down the most obvious lead, if you can call it a lead. Uh... We should go ask the costume shops in the city if they've seen anything suspicious. We could start with Claire's costume shop at the mall. Finally! Okay, let's go! Dear God, what the fuck? <gasps> I thought you left! <laughs> I'm a cat ninja. Very sneaky. But how? Get out, you fucking weirdo! <laughs> Can't you see we're working here? That's a good kitty. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good kitty. Okay. You deserve a treat. A tasty treat. Mm, give it to me. Maybe after work. I am really uncomfortable. Text me. Yeah. Peace. Can we go now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh... It just fries my brain every single time someone like this happens!
You and Charlie have arrived at the mall, bustling with shoppers, sights, and sounds. One could get easily distracted, but not you, right? Hey! Arcade or candy costume shop? I am a serious detective! <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, 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 I'm. Welcome to Claire's costume. Welcome, welcome to Claire's costume shop. What can I do for you? Other than turn you into a frog. <laughs> you can do him. He's got tons of your pics on his computer. Hey, buddy, you want to handle this? I bet you say I'll be your psychic on this one. Hello, ma'am. We'd like to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. Um, we're going... I told you before, folks, that we're... I'm doing this. I'm just keeping... Fr Frisky ain't getting no goddamn Frisky in this game. He is going to be a serious detective. He is a hard-boiled, noir detective surrounded by tits. But we're going to actually keep it to the job, right? Focus, focus. No jokes at people's expense. Focus on the job. Hello, ma'am. We'd like to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. What kind of questions? Let me introduce ourselves. My name is Falco Frisk, P.I. This is my colleague, Charlie Park. We're working on a case and would like to ask you some questions. A private detective, huh? Yes, ma'am. Please, call me Claire. Of Claire's costume shop, I take it. Well, you're an observant one. Uh, and why are you red? It, it's nothing. I'm, I'm just a big fan. Oh, so that explains it. Okay, okay. No, with that, I'll chit chat. I, I just need some answers here. By the way, you're the best looking witch I've ever seen. So, about her case, man, if I ask you some questions. All right, all right, ask. Thank you. We're looking for a guy in a clown mask, possibly makeup. Here's a sketch I drew of the suspect. Does this look familiar to you? Hmm, not really. I don't sell anything from, like, that here. I'm afraid I can't help. Hold on, you might still be able to. Has anyone that has come in here lately looked strange or suspicious to you? No, I don't recall. Are you sure, Claire? Answer the question. Answer the question, Claire! Yes, besides, we conduct an extensive and thorough background check on anyone who asks for a clown costume. Why? I'm assuming because of the spirit of clown robberies heading the town? Of all these pranks going around causing fear, I want to be sure I'm not contributing by selling one to someone who is up to no good. I'm sure the community appreciates you for it. Hmm. Well, Claire, I think that's all I needed to hear. Thanks. You're welcome. Come back anytime. And I sure hope you find your stalker. Goodbye, Claire. See ya. Be sure to like my social media page. Ah. Oh, I already... Alright, let's go, buddy. That's enough Claire for today. Oh. That was... odd. Yeah, she's amazing. She's got you under her spell. <clears throat> no, you're right. She seemed quick to dismiss and had an overly detailed up explanation for your second question. Well, maybe it's nothing, but it's been a long day. I need a drink. Yeah, I could use a diet soda as well. That's not what I meant. I think it's time for Melon's Night. Really? Liqueurs? Who wrote it? Okay, melon time! Give me some melon balls! Oh, uh, you go have fun. I need to go home and tend to my spore collection. Oh, melons is a strip club! I assumed he meant melons as in, like, the, the actual, like, liqueur drink you can buy from a bar. What kind of lunacy is this? Alright, spore collection? Really? You're so weird. 
We've got to get you out in the boat. Who know? Who know? Who know where? You get lucky one of these days. Um, okay. I'll see you tomorrow at the office. We've got to get you out in the boat. Who know? Who know? You get lucky one of these days. All right. Um, okay. I'll see you tomorrow at the office. He can do whatever he wants. It's his life. Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. If he was a hard-boiled detective, he would go home and drink alone. But. Uh, I'm torn. Torn. The two options are go home and drink alone or go to Mellon's. Yes, yes, Digerati Distribution, you have drawn me into your plan. I am still a hard-boiled detective, but I will do it with amongst a pair of titties. So we're going to Melons. That's what we're doing. We're going to Melons. Fine then. We're going to Melons. We're going to the strip club. You demanded it. Then we're going to do it. Melons Bar. Boom. You pull into the parking lot. The sign says, Melons, come guzzle our bike jugs. Of beer. This place never gets old. Time to kick back after a long day. Welcome to Melons. Please allow me to show you to your table. Well, sir, I can see why they call it Melons. You're going to be my witness for this evening. It must be a it must be my lucky day. Aren't you sweet? And I'm lucky that you're one of my tables. My name's Gertrude, by the way. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yeah, Gertrude. Did your great Gertrude? Did your great grand great grandmother give you that name? What a pretty name, Gertrude. What a pretty name, Gertrude. Aw, thank you. I don't get that a lot. Well, it's true. <laughs> so, what would you like to drink? I'll have a diet soda, my dear. Trying to watch my calories. You know, looking at you makes me want a nice big jug of beer. Big jug. Well, beer, that is. What? My two aren't enough for you? Uh, 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 didn't expect this. Uh, uh, alright, um, um, I'll be going now. Mmm, <laughs> rendered you speechless. Smooth, after a relaxing time filled with laughter and drinks, Gertrude brought your check and her number on the back. God damn it. You got Gertrude's digits. Oh god. Uh, the one. Uh, I wasn't going to try and get anybody's goddamn numbers in this. Chapter 5. Right. Inside Frisk HQ. This is. Uh, this. Go buy it a blistering piece, does it not? Hmm. Hmm. I have. I changed my shirt. Hmm. I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Ugh. Morning. Damn, my head hurts. Let me guess, you went to Mel's last night and had too much to drink. Hey, while you were at home playing Dungeons and Wizards or whatever, I was busy getting laid. Maybe, but it would have been a lot more fun if you had come along. I had the perfect amount of drink, thank you very much. This is always my answer. I had the perfect amount of drink, thank you very much. But we're going to actually go right with us. Maybe, but it would have been better. A lot more fun if you had come along. Really? Well, uh, maybe next time. Hmm. Wonder if Sam was able to run those prints we found. Haven't heard anything yet. Well, we better look it up then, shouldn't we? Knock, knock! Speak of the devil. That's right, it's me. Officer Samantha Robbins? Charlie Park. Ah, so you're Charlie. It's nice to meet you. Falco's talked quite a bit about you. Likewise. Glad you could meet finally. What brings you here, Sam? It's my day off, so I thought I would stop by and see if you needed any help. Thanks, Sam. We could always use a hand. Absolutely. That's what I thought. So, Sam, were you able to run my fingerprints? Fingerprints? Yes, I was able to squeeze that into my schedule for you. Any matches? Unfortunately, nothing came back. 
Could be that the prints just weren't complete enough. Hmm. Everything's vibrating again! Miss Lucy. Hey, Lucy. What's going on? Mr. Frisk, you have to come now! Whoa, now! We just met. Aren't we supposed to go on a date or so first? Did the clown make another visit? Alright, slow down. What's going on? Alright, slow down. What's going on? It's a clown. He came back last night. Are you girls okay? Yes, but he left something. You better come take a look. Okay, we're on our way. Was that one of the girls? What's going on? It was Lucy. The clown paid them another visit. Creepy. You picked a good day to stop by, Sam. Want to join us? You bet. This is starting to get interesting. Hmm. Great, let's go. Girls' apartment! Inside the girls' house! Alright, guys. We're going to take a break here. Uh, that was another three chapters. We went from chapter 2 through to 6 of... Uh, oh, chapter 3 to 6. Yeah. So chapter 3 to 6 and this single setup. Uh, we'll be back again. I'm looking forward to playing more of Frisky Business here on the channel. This game... Uh, admittedly, there was less spelling mistakes in these two chapters, but still just as off, awful of, uh, or mixture of awful and weird and funny art that was actually in this. Um, decision trees that I, I'm going, I'm going, I'm so excited to actually go back and play through this at some other point. Just for the fact that I can actually get to see what other directions and other people's digits and characters that you run into along the way. There's just so many boobalicious ladies in this for no apparent reason. But I'm trying. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay focused and I still unintentionally ended up with a girl's digits. That's it. it life's too easy, man. It's too easy. It's too easy being frisky. No. Nah. Mm. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've actually been enjoying this so far, please do feel free to hit the subscribe button and make sure to actually check out all the videos in this series as they come out live on the channel. Uh, if you don't do the subscribe thing and completely understand, not everybody does, make sure to just go and hit the past each of skin, save up the name, memorize the name inside your brain boxes in here somewhere and be able to search for it and you'll be able to find me because I will not be hiding too far away. You'll be able to find me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, Boom! There'll be a button up there to subscribe. There'll be a box up here for the playlist. There'll be a one over there for the most recent video on my channel. And there'll be one right here that's designed for you! Based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube, you'll be able to sit down, watch it, and enjoy. So I highly recommend you watch that video right there as soon as you finish this one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!